Alexander Gustafsson versus Daniel Cormier is right now the pivotal fight for the light heavyweight division. Trying to finish it right here, right now. It is all over! Daniel Cormier is the new UFC light heavyweight champion! Jimmy's oh, hurt. Oh, Jimmy's, Jimmy's down. He's oh, down. wow. Alexander has cemented that number one ranking, and he rules like a Viking. They're both excellent fighters, and it's a spectacular fight. Here comes Daniel Cormier, the two-time Olympian with the world-class pedigree in wrestling. Daniel Cormier is going to come out like a man possessed. In beating Rumble Johnson, he won the vacated belt. Now he has a chance to legitimize it even further. That's it, that's it, that's it. Cormier has done it. I'm sitting here with the Strike Force Championship and the UFC Championship, and I'm excited about this next phase of my career. I uh, trying to hold on to that gold belt. Side to side, side to side on the head. There we go, champ. That's what I'm looking for. He's constantly getting better and constantly striving for perfection and success. He's better than he showed the John Jones fight. Good combination by DC. He's even better than he was in the Rumble Johnson fight. Cormier he takes up. him up, puts him down. And he's got to get through Alexander Gustafson to take it to the next level. Total domination. It's a fight that people want to see because we are such opposite fighter. He's a short wrestler, I'm a tall striker, so it's a very good matchup, and, and uh, it's going to be a war. Oh, he's hit shot. This is Daniel Cormier proving to the world that he's one of the scariest of the contenders. I like to fight, and I land a lot of punches, and I, I'm pretty accurate myself. So I'm going to pressure him, and I'm going to push him, and I'm going to make him work and exhaust him like he's never been exhausted before. Daniel Cormier finishes Patrick Cummins just like that. You know, obviously he thinks his height is going to carry him in the fight, but if he thinks that's his advantage, great. I think it gives me an advantage because it allows me to get to his legs faster, and also it gives me a nice target standing way up there in the air. The first thing a wrestler learns is how to throw an overhand right. So for a tall guy, thank you for the target. Good right hand over the top by DC. It's been a long journey, man, of ups and downs, heartbreak, heartache. So to be here today, preparing for a title defense in the UFC, it's completion. Like, I've done everything I ever wanted to accomplish in my entire life. The new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. When the belt is put around my waist, it's going to be my big dream become reality. Alexander Gustafsson is a crafty fighter. We saw that in his fight with John Jones. We saw his excellent transitions between striking and takedowns, and he really surprised John Jones in that fight with that. He became the first man in John Jones' mixed martial arts career to take him down, not just once, but twice. It was a really close fight, and many people thought Gustafson could have gotten a nod in that fight. It was that competitive. Gustafson has gone into the championship rounds, and there's that big right hand again. Gustafson looks to take Jones a nice uppercut. These two years since my last title fight has been a, a roller coaster for sure. I had some ups, I had some downs. So it's been a very learning experience for me, and I feel better in every way. I think we're going to see an even better version, more focused and more intense Alexander Gustafsson. I believe I can beat anyone in my division right now. I feel more motivated than ever now, and I feel stronger than ever. Quitting is not an option, you know. I just keep going and I keep training every day, and, and I want that belt. What a fight! Everybody points to him fighting Jones tough for five rounds. Nobody's talking about him knocking out Vladimir Matyashenko. Nobody's talking about him knocking out Jimmy Manawai. His greatest performance was a loss. He's tough for me because of his abilities, not because of what he did against John Jones. His footwork, his height, his wrestling defense is why he's tough. Good level change. Jimmy looking for a arm in guillotine. Big save by him my good stuff, sir. I'm a fighter that believes in precision and speed with good wrestling techniques. It is all over! Alexander Gustafsson chokes out James Tahuna. Whatever he throws, whatever he's going to do in that fight, I'll be ready for it. And I'm going to have an answer for it, too. If it's one round, it's going to be one tough round. If it's five rounds, it's going to be five tough rounds. But I can tell you, it's, it's going to be me as a winner. I'm going to leave that title with the belt on my waist. That's it. I love that he kind of buys into the hype. You know, believe all those things. That makes me confident, even more confident on October 3rd. It makes me want to go for a run right now. 
March 15, 2014. We had a new welterweight champion for the first time in six years, and it was this man, Johnny Big Rig Hendricks. I got to the belt. Uh, I thought I was where I wanted to be, and it was, I wasn't. Lawler looking for the finish. Vicious attack by Lawler. Robbie Lawler is the new champion. After I lost a split decision to Robbie Lawler, you take a step back, you say, OK, why did that happen? Why did we lose that fight? All right, get that under control. Now I have realized that I got to do whatever I can. My destiny's in my own hands. And if that means take more fights and knock everybody else out of the way, then that's what I got to do. I'm not just going to fight everybody and, until there's nobody left. Johnny Hendricks is really fighting like a champion in this fight, Mike. He looks spectacular. He wants his belt back. Willie's been asking the fight for me because that's his way to the title. We have everything down the line. We're both fighting for somewhat the same reasons. I've been asking to fight Hendricks because at this point in my career, you know, I want the big fights. You know, when I get the big fights, I prepare big and I fight big. Big swing by Woodley. Kim might be hurt. Woodley looking to finish. It is all over. I'm a realist, man. I look at the division. I look at the style matchups. And I've always picked Hendricks as my toughest matchup. And if I can get through him, you know, I feel like that's my toughest test. And I should be on my way to being a world champion. He's my title. I got to beat him to get to that title. And that's all that's on my head is beat him, beat him, and beat him. Win at all costs. In addition to this fight being something where we both have something to prove. I think it's just the history behind it. Tyron Woodley wrestled for Missouri. I wrestled for Oklahoma State, Big 12s. We wrestled once that I know of. I ended up going and winning that tournament. You know, losing that didn't feel great. And I just been wanting to punch him in the face ever since then. So this is a great opportunity for me to get that payback. I did it once. Let's show him that it's not a fluke. There is no question about this guy's power, man. Thunderous! Are you kidding me? You know, Johnny's style is really difficult, man. You know, he gives a lot of guys problems, you know. He never stops trying to win. He always competes to the last minute. He can take a punch. He can give a punch. Strength is a huge piece of my puzzle that has got me where I'm at today. The good Lord blessed me with it, then I got to use it. Oh, just like that! Oh, Knockout man. win for Johnny Hendricks! He's tough, he's proven, but you know, I'm good too. I'm not ranked third in the world because I'm some pushover. I'm one of the tough guys. I'm one of the guys that can punch you with one punch and push you to sleep. Oh, Tyron Woodley knocks out Josh Koscheck! When Tyron Woodley is putting everything together, uh, whether it's wrestling, grappling, striking, power, conditioning, depth, toughness, um, competitiveness, just pushing through every round. I really think that when I'm on all cylinders, I am the very best welterweight in the world. I know it's going to be a tough fight. I know that he's going to come out and want to win, but I believe I'm the best fighter, and I, now it's just about proving it. Well, this is a Johnny Hendricks that's already fought for the title and understands what it's about. He wants to gain the world title again. He's already tasted it. In his mind, he never lost a fight to Robbie Lawler, so he feels as he's been kind of shortchanged. So that mental edge and that chip on his shoulder, he's going to want to teach me something. Guess what? I'm going to want to teach him something, too. So whoever gets there first is probably you know, going to be the victor in this fight. A decisive win over Tyron Woodley is one step closer to my end goal, to get my belt back. This is a fight that puts me in a position where it's no-brainer who the next guy in line is. And, you know, you can delay, but you can't deny. If I beat him in great fashion like I plan on, then I won't be able to be denied my opportunity at UFC Gold.